solidarity with the women and children of Palestine, of Jammu and Kashmir, and all around the world where they are being tortured and harassed as a result of wars and conflicts. As we begin to discuss climate change, which in my opinion is probably the greatest threat, as I said, being faced by our planet and mankind, I will use this opportunity to apprise you of what happened in Pakistan this year. A few years back, many around the world, including SI members, were debating around the climate change, and as the debates continued, the climate-related disasters kept weaving havoc around us. At this point, it has become a reality, and it appears that the global community is showing some seriousness towards it. I hope this seriousness translates into real action this time. Before we discuss this further, it is important to understand that climate change is not just an environmental issue. Taking the example of recent floods in Pakistan, climate change is a threat to health, livelihoods, agriculture, peace and security, and the overall economy of the world. It is a threat beyond the imaginations of a common man. But the truth is that the future of our planet, in all aspects, is dependent on this. On top of it, the developing countries of our world are more at risk and suffering disproportionately because of climate change, 